Liverpool Arsenal, I guess, is the headline fixture. Arsenal haven't won at Anfield in the Premier League in over a decade. Is this the season that all that changes? Well, this is such um, the kind of acid test for Arsenal because it is a fixture they've been terrible in over that period. I mean, since Klopp came over, they've just... Since Klopp came over, since Klopp came in, they've just been routinely battered at Anfield. I mean, to be honest, they've suffered a lot of batterings against Liverpool at the Emirates as well. It's been a dreadful matchup for them for a long time. Obviously... They won this, uh, they beat Liverpool in October and that felt really significant. I think for a lot of people that was like, oh, maybe they are actually legit. But this is the one. I mean, if they can, you know, this feels like they're in the big leagues now. If they really want to compete with City, if they want to keep them behind them, a draw even probably isn't good enough. Because if they do draw and assuming City beats Southampton, then it's back in... City's hands as well as Arsenal. It would mean then that if City won all their games because they play Arsenal, they'd be champions. So it's really, really huge. I think missing Saliba is is massive as we expect that Arsenal probably will be. He He's an outstanding defender and the drop-off to Rob Holding is pretty big. Though Holding's done well in his two games, albeit against uh, Palace and Leeds. So this would be a big step up. Um, but, you know, they... I think they, if Arsenal are to win this game, they need to sort of play this current Liverpool team rather than, you know, Liverpool, this kind of terrifying entity. That said, Liverpool's home form has actually still been really good despite right. how awful they've been away. They haven't conceded in the league in 2023. So well, they haven't it, w- a, it will be tricky. They haven't had a home game since that 7-0 win over yeah. Man United. When you say play this current Liverpool team, one interesting thing at midweek was the fact that Klopp, Klopp, sorry... Klopp <laughs> took, <laughs> took uh, some big names out of the side. Some people wondering if that was in preparation for this Arsenal fixture. Salah, Trent and Robbo on the bench and Virgil van Dijk off ill. Hmm. I think they'll all come back in, yeah. Yeah, yeah it I mean, feels like that was partly a, a to sort of say to them after City, you were awful as a team and I'm I want to show how annoyed I am, but also knowing that you know, Arsenal's on the horizon. Three games in a week, uh, three games in. What would it be from Saturday through to Sunday? And that feel. I think you know. I think Liverpool still feel they should almost win that game because of how good their home form has been, and because of how much they've beaten Arsenal over the last few years. Um, so yeah, I'd expect those guys to all come back. And I think Klopp's already said that Van Dijk will be available. This is sort of game that Liverpool thrive in, right? And even just looking through the results that Liverpool have had this season, uh, they've beaten City twice, including the the Community Shield result. They've beaten Newcastle twice. They've beaten Napoli in in the Champions League. They beat, I mean, does Spurs count? Maybe not. But then the big winning, the big win over Manchester United as well. It feels mm-hmm. as though Liverpool lack consistency, but they definitely have a, a giant killing performance in them. So th- this is the sort of game that will will suit them. I think. You think Liverpool are coming back into it with this one, and, and Charlie, you. You seem to feel that as well, Duncan. I'm less, or I'm more confident for Arsenal, I think. I just think that Liverpool's defending is so bad, they still got up so many chances. And even that main night game, yes, yeah, 7-0, but it was a very strange 7-0. It was everything Liverpool hit went in. I think they had eight shots on target and scored seven times. So, And, and Arsenal are a much better team than Manchester United. Um, Will James Milner play, do you think? <laughs> Uh, yeah, nudge it up to 1.3%. <laughs> I mean, he did play against Arsenal for Leeds back in 2004 um, when Arsenal were very good the last time they were, uh, you know, in the hunt, I guess. Um, yeah, so I think, and, and Arsenal have been so good away from home. That's where they've built their title challenge, really. Um, you know, Aaron Ramsdale's on nine clean sheets away from home this season. Only two goalkeepers in the history of the Premier League have kept double figures for clean sheets away from home. Um, Petr Cech at Chelsea um, a couple of times and Edison a couple of times as well. So, I mean, it's it's their away performances. And, and that display yeah. at Fulham a few weeks ago was, that was the most champion sort of feeling I've got of any team this season. But it is, it is a big test. Um, it's the, you know, the final challenge before the end of level boss, which is City at the end of the month. Mm. I mean, statistically, I mean, Arsenal are eight points clear of City and they've got seven points better, seven points more away from home and only one point more at home than what City have. So, Duncan is right. You know, the numbers bear that out, that it is really the difference has come from their away form. Um, And they've got to go and, again, they've got to go and better what City did because John mentioned City lost this fixture 1-0 earlier in the season. Arsenal need to again find a way of keeping an away clean sheet and winning at a ground where they haven't done for since Arteta was playing in 2012. 
I would like to clarify that I do think that Arsenal are the favourites here. But oh, you do? Sorry. In terms of the tactical matchup right. between the two. So, for example, we saw Liverpool play Man City recently and Liverpool scored the first goal from exploiting Man City's desire to get all of their players forward, control the game, turn the ball over and, and, and then get hit on the break. So mm. I think that's the sort of thing that, that could see could decide this game. And it, that's what decided the original fixture when Manchester City lost at Anfield as well. So um, I think that, yeah, I think Arsenal will probably control the game, but they will always be open for for being hit on the break in in, in behind and uh, and if yeah if Liverpool could go ahead and can can keep ahead then anything could happen. Well, indeed, Man City will have already played their fixture by the time Arsenal take the field at Anfield. The the gap at the top could be down to just five points. The Totally Football Show podcast is available three times a week, bringing you all the football news you could reasonably be expected to care about. We've got views we've got stats we've got analysis we've got some of the best football writers around and the whole thing is absolutely free so have a listen on spotify or apple podcasts or all the usual places by clicking on the link below